<coughs> morning everybody and how are we this morning sorry about for that bit of a croak <coughs> and what a beautiful um, true I just found a park down here on the uh, south side of Brisbane because sometimes the best laid plans of mice and men don't go all that well I had a special location I was going to uh, to come to you from today and uh, it doesn't open until 10 o'clock in the morning uh, who Who'd have thought that they uh, locked national parks up uh, till uh, 10 in the morning? So, um, yeah, that might have to be one for another time. But never mind, we, we'll adapt. And the place I was going to go to was uh, the Fort Linton, Fort Linton National Park. Um, and, yeah, last time I was there, there was no gate on the thing. But uh, there you go. <laughs> so... I'm sorry about that. And this morning's um, reading was going to be about forts and, and fortresses, so it still will be. Um, I've just had to adapt, uh, as, we, as we all do at the moment. And that tree behind me, though, if you, uh, I'll just swing around and take a seat here and see that, uh, that tree. Magnificent colour in it, beautiful tree. It is um, stuck to the ground in very f firm roots, one would imagine. It's a nice little spot down there too. And um, so the psalm I was going to read this morning was psalm, psalm 18. And it goes like this. I love the Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress my saviour. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. I called on the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. It's a beautiful psalm, and it, and it continues on in that vein to talk about the Lord being our strength, our rock, our surety. And, and as you're probably all woken up to this morning, or you saw last night on the news, things became a little uncertain uh, in our little neck of the woods today. It's been like that for our brothers and sisters in Melbourne for the past three weeks. We may and we pray we don't get to those sorts of levels. But if we do, know one thing for certain, that the Lord is our strength and our refuge and our shelter and our help in very present time, and what more do we need? We need each other, we need to hold on to each other, secure each other. And just like this beautiful tree, we need the surety and the firmness that is often unseen. At the bottom of this tree are roots that would spread out in all directions, anchoring it firmly to the ground. You can see the tops of these roots. Well, the Lord is like that. He is those firm roots underneath that hold us up, lift us up, and keep us secure. Let's pray together. Father, just want to thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for this day. Thank you for life. Thank you for the freshness and the Christmas of this day. Thank you for the beauty that we find in it. Thank you for each other, Lord. But most of all, thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you are guiding us, that you are our strength and our refuge. You are that mighty fortress, Lord, that we need in these uncertain times. And so we just pray, Lord, as this day unfolds around us, may you be that certainty that we need. I pray a blessing upon all of us this morning. Lord, we need you now. We need your guidance. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, I know it was a little bit uh, out of sync today, but uh, hey, we, we get there. We adapt as we go along. I pray that you have a fantastic day. I pray that it is one that is, is brilliant for you. And um, yeah, until we see each other tomorrow for a special episode, um, take care and God bless. <laughs>